Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. So today I really, really, really wanted to do something fun and I saw the full face using only kids makeup challenge going around and I was just like, you know what? Challenge accepted because this looks fun. I went to Claire's Accessories and got a few little bits and bobs. They have quite a lot of makeup these days. They never used to when I was younger. But yeah, it was a massive blast from my past going in there because I must have been about 12 when I went there. I got my ears pierced for the first time at Claire's Accessories, so... There's a fun fact for you, but let's stop babbling. Let's get straight into the makeup. I'm going to put my hair out of my way. Alrighty then, so first things first, I'm gonna be using the Claire's Accessories Icing BB Cream in the only shade that they had. They didn't really have much selection, so I just put some on the back of my hand. I mean, it kind of looks like it might match. It looks a little bit orange for my complexion, but I guess we will find out. Okay, so this doesn't seem to have that much coverage, so I'm gonna get a little bit more out of the tube and see what happens. It tends to just disappear as soon as I put it onto my face, but <sighs> we've gotta do it. it. Doesn't really seem to cover much, like my foundation that I normally use covers a lot, but I guess you don't want kids to wear that much foundation because they already have pure beautiful skin when they're young how I miss those days but okay we're done with the BB cream now I think that's the best we're gonna get and now I'm gonna move on to the very fun feeling concealer which is very plastic and hollow it's light I feel like I'm holding a tube of air if I'm honest I'm also gonna attack any spots that are sneaking around and let's just put it everywhere okay right we are going to blend because please blend you know what this concealer isn't actually that bad the product does tend to lift once you put it down so it's kind of a bit counterproductive but we'll go with it let's keep going the concealer wasn't that great. It didn't cover everything that I wanted to. I'm very much a cover everything until you have flawless skin. But these products don't seem to do it that well, which makes me cry. I still have some sort of blemishes showing through, which the concealer and the BB cream just will not cover. But we still have hope because I still have the pressed powder, which I'm hoping gives a tiny bit of coverage. So let's, let's discover if it does. Okay, so the base is as done as it's probably ever gonna be with these products, but I'm gonna move on to contouring with this book of beautifulness and hope that things get a little bit better. So next in my base routine, I would normally go in with some contouring, blusher and highlight. So that is what we're gonna do next. And I'm gonna start off with the contour. I don't know if it's cheating using my own brushes, but I didn't buy any, but we're testing the products here, I guess. So there is a brown shade here, which I'm gonna contour with. That is not pigmented. Come on, there we go. That's well, let's see what we can do with that. I need to blend that out with some sort of blendy brush, so, okay. Let's just fix that. It, it's not disappearing, is it? Okay, cool. Love it when that happens. Okay, we're just gonna keep going. I'm not giving up until I look fabulous with kids' makeup. Where there's a will, there is a way. And then I'm going to buff it out a little bit. Not that this powder likes being blended, but what's a girl to do? Okay, I'm now onto blush, and I think I'm going to use this pink here because it looks like a very nice blush shade. So yeah, let's give it a whirl, give it a little bit of a dab. Oh God, <sighs> this stuff's very loose. I'm just gonna get the apples of my cheeks. This is actually quite a nice blush color. It's very rosy. I approve of the blusher. Yes, I will be blending it in. Don't you worry. I'm not going to go around looking like a clown. Okay, my favorite part now is highlight. Now, originally in this little book, I thought that this circle here was a highlighter, but I don't think it is. It's um, a 
it doesn't sparkle or anything. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and use one of the very pale eyeshadows because that looks like it would work very nicely as a highlighter. So let's get to highlighting. I'm gonna go along my cheekbones and pray that this gives some sort of glow payoff and I don't just end up looking like Casper the ghost. And also the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow. Okay, that worked. I just realized that I haven't done my brows yet, so I'm gonna take the brown shade in here, which is an eyeshadow, but you know, you can use things for more than one purpose. So I'm gonna take the brown, and I'm just going to fill in my brows the best I can. It probably isn't going to color match whatsoever, but never mind. So yeah, I don't really need to fill them in too much. I am blessed with eyebrows, but I do like to fill in the gaps where hairs just don't seem to be. They, it happens. Okay, so I think I can cope with those brows. I do feel very glowy, so I'm gonna just blend some of that away. That didn't really do much. Okay, now we are on to eyes. And for this, I'm going to be using some eyeshadows from this palette as we, I've made a mess of this palette already. I think I'm gonna be using some purples, maybe a couple of these pinks because I really want to use some of this pink gloss out of this kit because it looks, it looks cute, it's glittery and I'm just like, this is so adorable. So I think I'm gonna start with some purple eyeshadow. Ooh, okay, this is actually quite pigmented. Uh, could be more pigmented if it wanted to, but it's, it's coming slowly, it's it's doing its thing. I think I'm gonna do purple on the inside and then I'm gonna blend it out to pink because let's be wild today. <laughs> so I'm then gonna go in with a hot, hot pink. So I'm probably just gonna use the same brush because YOLO. I'm just gonna put that in the outer half of my eye and hope that it looks somewhat decent. <laughs> So I'm just going to blend that eyeshadow out and together because eyeshadow is not complete unless you've done a little bit of blending and I wish I knew that when I started my YouTube channel. I look back at some of my older videos now and it's just like, I didn't know how to do the blending very well. It's uh, it, just, it just ends up being a line and then it just stops. Um, so there's some fun trivia for you. I think I'm really happy with how the eyeshadows turned out. Now I would normally do eyeliner, so <laughs> they only had a gel eyeliner at the class that I went to, so this is gonna be fun if it will if it'll come out the box. Are you, are you gonna? Nope. Okay, we've got it. So there is a gel eyeliner and in the lid has a tiny little brush, which I am gonna try and use. And in the bottom is a pot of gel eyeliner. I'm not the biggest fan of gel eyeliner. I love, love, love my liquid liners. Um, I'm just gonna test this. Uh, Oh God, it's like really sheer. It's um, it's like a lipstick. It's, I can't explain, it's not pigmented. It's like translucent eyeliner. Um, <laughs> oh God, okay, fine. It doesn't show up and this stuff is like lip gloss. Okay, I'm gonna give up with eyeliner. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's so incredibly bad. It's such a slimy sort of gloss consistency and that is not what eyeliner should be like. I know it's a gel, but I have used gels in the past and they come off really pigmented and black. And this one's just, no, it's a zero out of 10 for me. So moving on, I'm gonna be using some mascara. Please be better than the eyeliner because I didn't buy any false lashes for this, so. It better be good. So we got a little wand, which looks all right. So let's give it a little try. Also gonna put some on my lower lashes because we do not want to leave them out. Just gonna put a th very thin coat on those because this wand just likes to give you all the product at once. Okay, so all that's left is lips. Now, I know that I want to use one of these glosses, but I also kind of want to use this one as well because this one smells like my childhood. There's a lipstick in here, which is red, but red's not gonna go with pink and purple. So I think I'm gonna stick with this palette because 
it's the cutest palette ever. Um, I'm gonna go with this hot pink and then I think I'm gonna layer some of the glitter gloss over the top because why the hell not? I might even push the boat out and use one of their really good brushes. So, oh God, this is weird. The hairs aren't even the same length. There's like, I'm gonna have to trim this brush before I use it, oh my God. I'm gonna be very sort of subtle with it because I do want to use that really cute gloss. So, see if any color payout comes off. Which it does, which is nice. Oh my God, this smells like my youth. Okay, so I've put a base of pink down and now I get to use the gloss that I've been really excited to use. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So yeah, it's really small. Look how cute it is. I love things that are, no, that was gonna sound wrong. Okay, so look, it's really cute. It's like a fake blueberry smell, uh, which is weird. You expect it to be strawberry, but I'm gonna put a little bit of gloss on because we wanna shine like a diamond. Oh my God, it's so glittery. I actually really like it. The eyeliner is actually offending me. I might quickly go in as a last minute touch with some of this black glitter shadow and try and use that as an eyeliner over the top of the gel gel that we already used because that's the only thing that's really offending me about <laughs> this makeup look so far is that the gel is just terrible. You can legit see the difference of the gel before and then putting a little bit of black eyeshadow over the top because that's how bad it was. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other one. I think that we are done. This is my full face of makeup using only kids makeup, which is not too bad. I think <laughs> I think they could do with some little, a little bit of work on their foundation sort of consistencies and their concealers. Uh, their eyeliner though, <laughs> I think the worst product from the kids makeup that I've used today is the eyeliner. That is just so shockingly poor, but we made it work with some of the eyeshadows. I really do like the eyeshadow colors. I think they're pigmented. I have nothing to complain about the eyeshadows. Yeah, let me know what you thought in a comment if you did enjoy this video then please do give it a massive thumbs up and if you're brand new to my channel why not click the subscribe button because I make brand new videos every single week that's all from me and thank you for watching bye